Hello on this live stream grand Saturday morning. Kingdom saying greetings, spiritual seekers. In this time of Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. God is walking in the flesh with us, fighting with us. For he said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. I just come on this morning just to give a little bit of word of encouragement for anybody that is being discouraged and anybody that is going through. But that's the whole purpose of me. God having me to do this. Because I have, it took me a lot to step outside myself to begin to share my life with the world. But is it a testimony to, that God get all the glory and those who may be waving in their faith may find uh, a closer walk with God and their faith walk journey. But we walk by faith and not by sight. Let's break away from idolatry worship. Um, you know, along this way, we're going to lose things. And what God was administering to me earlier, because I was uh, going back over, you know, I lost some loved ones along the way. And God said, had I, had I knew then, I would have intervened and I would have stepped in the plans of God's way. But I was so dependent on them, because it wasn't nothing. If I didn't have it, I, I can go get it. And if we didn't have it together, we got it together. And I, I was dependent on them. And I know God is trying to draw us into a place in Him to where we're not dependent on man. We're dependent solely on Him because He'll provide. Uh, he's Jehovah Jireh, our provider. And He'll, it's nothing that He would not. I'm a y'all, I'm a witness. I have for years now been on my faith walk journey with God. Uh, I met Him, I met Jesus along my way. And He said that He'll never leave me nor forsake me. And I have not been without nothing. All my needs have been met. Uh, he has always had us a ram in the bush. And he was telling me this morning, he said, look at the economy. And he said, I just want, I just want my people to know that this is their ram in the bush. Because a lot of folks are on unemployment. And they didn't know how they was going to make it. And he, God said, he said, that that's, that was their, he said that was their ram in the bush. Because the enemy meant it for evil. But he said, I meant it for, I meant it for their good so that they could see me. And, and, uh, and, we, and some of us missing them. Cause I was I was missing him there for a minute, so he began to make me sit down. Cause I have always been a woman, a girl from a very very young age who, who, who uh, catapulted into a woman's stage and a woman's lifestyle at a very young age. Um, I've always did what I wanted to do. It's nothing that I didn't, I didn't wake up the next morning. I I love my life. Um, cause I always have done what I I, I did what I wanted to do. That's, I always been in control of my life. God drew me into a place in Him to where I could see Him and to know that, um, you know, I'm not walking alone, that He has a greater work. He has a plan for us, according to Jeremiah 29 and 11, and it is real. I'm a walking, talking testimony of it. So as I've been going through and God has, um, you know, um, delivered me out of the land of Egypt and part of the Red Sea for me, and He says, He's been telling me, and I've been missing, that's how I've been missing, we're missing God, we're missing God, you guys. He said, I fight your battle for you. He said, for the battle is not yours. He says, he's been saying for the longest, sit at the right hand of me until I make your enemies your footstool. And for the longest, I've been missing it. I've been missing. I've been, I've been with him, but I've been missing him. I've been so haughty because I, my spirit, I, my pride has not been broken. Because I've been so used to taking care of myself and doing things myself. Well, not thinking I was doing it. He was, he was, he was in the midst. Uh, doing things and providing things and listening to him along the way getting to know him and trying to apply his word but i was half-heartedly applying his word word because he said i'll fight your battle for you if you just sit down and be still and um god was he just kept on saying um be still be still just sit down for a minute sit in me humble yourself and i'm like i'm thinking i'm saying i'm praying i'm thinking i'm humble he's like no humble yourself he's keep on telling me he said go sit down go back to the house of god i hadn't been in the house of god in over six years so I finally broke down in my spirit. I cried before I even went because I said when I left the house of God where I was, I would never ever dock another house. I would never ever dock another door again. So I finally, after six years, went into the house of God. And God said, he said, well, now when you get there, you humble yourself up under this man of God. And um, sit at my right hand so I make your enemies your footstool. So I'm in there, I'm praying, I'm like, thank you. He's like, no, humble yourself. And I'm like, what is, humble yourself. And, he, and another day I broke out, some things happened. And, and I came, but then came against my children, and 
and the floor and behold before I know I spazzed out. Cause that's one thing you don't do. You don't mess with my babies. I don't care what they do. Hey, that's God. I dedicate them to God and then when God is ready, then God will do it to them. But don't you touch my three. <laughs> And then God kept on saying, he says, highly humble yourself. I don't know what we're talking about. So finally, he said, you're, you're, you're still fighting in your flesh. You're still trying to do it. He said, if you allow me to fight your battle for you, he said, I'll fight your battle for you. I, we are, I'll um, bring your enemies subject unto you. And they have to heed to your authority. And he kept on taking me. And we, I've been missing God so much. I've been in God thinking I was with God and thinking I'm, I, I knew God. But I was missing God. And God has been waving his hand. We, we're missing God, you guys. We're missing he said, we fight them not against flesh and blood, against principalities, against uh, spiritual darkness of this world, powers of darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness. And not in that order. So, y'all know what it is. And for the longest, I'm like, what are you talking about? So, finally, the other day, he really grabbed a hold of me. He says, humble yourself before me. Sit down. So I can see. So we can see who it is. Because he said, I'm gathering them all together. I'm gathering all your enemies together so that you can have dominion over this. So they, this mess that they're doing, they, they cannot take it into your future. They cannot travel into your future no more and cause and set up havoc for you. And as I began to sit down in God and, and listen to God and pray and truly pray in the spirit and, and tune into the spirit of God and line the word of God up against my, with my prayer life, he says, now look at it. He says, there they go. And it was, a, it was like an eight level and they said it was he said the eighth housing and with the eighth housing it is a um this season right now between i uh, went we are in a season between october the 23rd and november i think november the 22nd the eighth housing of transition of death of uh, uh, election and it's, it's several other things um, that is taking place within this, this this season right now. It's not just a, a major presidential election that had taken place. This was a spiritual realm election. And he says your name, your family's name is ringing within the spiritual realm. He said y'all have been chosen in the name of Jesus to reign. And he says, uh, he says now look at it. He says, he said now in every house that has been set up across the nation. He said because the Messiah, the Spirit of the Living Lord is walking in the flesh and 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 Satan is walking in the flesh. He says in every house of God, so-called representation of God, he said there is a general Satan that is standing at the head of the house from the White House all the way down to any religious leadership or leadership across the nation. He said there's a general Satan that is ready to fight against the, the people of God because Satan, when Satan got kicked out of heaven, he vowed war against God's people because he says why are they worthy to be forgiven and received back into heaven but I'm, I'm condemned to hell for eternity so he made war against God's people and the very way to make war he said then the very ones that think that they're praising and worshiping God everything that has Lord holla Lord Lord don't mean they got the love of God down off in there uh, so whenever a, the spirit of the living Lord truly go up into the house. That's the reason why you've been seeing so much bickering and stuff going on inside the house of God. So as I was sitting, God says, there they are. It was principalities. It was powers of this world. Powers of this world, which is like um, like in the industry and people that, you know, like entertainments and stuff like that. Principalities is the ones who sit up in um, like legal leadership, um, the high authority within the priest you got spiritual wickedness and that's, that's to kind of separate them from the preachers and the bishops and the, the higher standard like the priests and stuff like that because the priest you know in the, in the before BC time before Christ priest was the law priest was the job I mean uh, was the judge priest was the president so the law uh, evolved from biblical principles but yeah, I just come on to that babble a little bit too much more than what uh, the Holy Ghost always does that. Um, which is why I said, hey, my life is not my own. It's to God it belongs. But you guys, I just come on today to tell somebody that may be going through. If you just humble yourself and we step up outside of our flesh and begin to walk in the spirit. And begin to truly seek God and allow that thing to line up with the word of God and allow the word of God. I guarantee you, if you line up the word of God 
with the man of God who God has set you under because what was a while I was messing up at when I left church after the um, the spiritual abuse torture that almost took my life that I endured in um, this congregation and God broke me away from it. Um, I said I would never ever go again, and I was like, I praise God right from where I am because I know I got the love of God in me, and I was doing charity work, and you know I'm trying to you know uh, make sure that I try to find a place to put my ten percent and 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 serve the community. But no, it don't work like that. And, and it took me until now. It just took me now to see that because um, what it is, your overseer is a representation of our Lord and say he's not your God he's not God he's a representation of your God and he he, he intervenes and he's and God will speak to him just like he's speaking to you so whatever God is speaking to you and you go sit up under the man of God and you come so listen to the commandment command of God things in your life will begin to fall in place and Satan will flee because one thing he cannot stand he do not like anybody that's um lining up with the command of God and he cannot stand your praise and worship he cannot stand your praise and worship I'm going to say that one more one more time God brought, brought that to my attention that Satan cannot stand your praise and worship when you go to praising and thanking God out of your flesh he'll flee because the reason why he flees because that's he that's how you're making him praise God because see he uses our flesh to make a sin so whenever you go to praising and worshiping God Waving your hands in the air and waving them like you just don't care and giving God all the glory, he flees. Because he said, oh no, 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 you're not having me praise God. I got to go, I got to go find me somebody that's going to rebel against God. So that's the reason why praise is your weapon. Praise will put him in fleet. So I've just been in praise for the past couple of days, walking in the spirit, praising, praising him not. I said, I'm not praising him not. This is not my praise. This is my kids' praise. Because I already know they came out. I already know they're standing. I already know they healed. I already know they delivered. I already know they're praising and worshiping God. I already know they don't line up with the word of God. It's just a process that got to go through. And we all got to go through that process. But we have so many people nowadays that is wanting to walk in false testimonies and when it talks about that in Matthew um, 16 15 through 20 I believe if I'm not I may be saying it wrong but it's up in there but a lot of folks are walking in false testimonies but today my people be encouraged it's okay to let go because a lot of because where you're going a lot of people is not going to go with you uh, they may be called later in the day so don't try to squeeze. Don't do not try to put old wine into new wine skin because that's the reason why everything is falling apart and it's busting. And you're losing and you're losing your fresh you losing your fresh wine. You're losing your fresh oil. You're losing your fresh anointing. You're losing your fresh blessings. Spiritual blessings. This is why a lot of blessings are held up. And you go into the house of God and, and the man of God don't spoke a word of your life. And when you go out and you get mad, so oh the man of God said I was gonna do this and I was gonna do that, but I haven't it and it ain't no, it ain't that it has it. It's held up in the spiritual realm because you have not truly, truly lined up with the word of God. So today, my people, no truly know I am a witness it's not that we're wrestling against flesh and blood we're wrestling against today I was met with this morning I was met with um, spiritual wickedness and um, spiritual rules of darkness powers of this world this morning because some of the, some of the mornings I just I know Satan is in flee and this is like my might say like some of his like little imps uh, because normally I've been in the morning, the sun of the morning, which is Satan, meets me, greet me whenever I walk out my door. Instantly, something happened, and I rage, rage, will come up, and there you go. Hey, before I, I'm, I'm blessing somebody out, but he's gonna die down. He's in, he's in flee. He know he ain't, he know he ain't got no power. But when he did, just know that when he leave you, he gonna try to touch something that's next to you, that's weaker than you, and weak in their faith. So you guys, let's stay prayed up, blessed up, and know that we already got the victory in God. And God is saying, humble yourself, humble your flesh, humble up under me, sit down, be still, and know that I am God. And he's moving in the name of Jesus.